Okay, after we fill the ink to the ink, uh, big ink tank, we can start to install the print head on the machine. First, uh, we find out a screw that uh, fasten at the both side of the carriage, the left side and the right side, all have two screw. We loosen the, loosen the screw to open the front cover. Then we can take out the cover. <clears throat> okay, then we can see have here have uh, the damper and sub ink tank and print head print head installation installed pallet here. So we can start to install print head on the carriage. So before we install print head, we need to prepare the print head screw, six piece, pieces, and two print head Epson 4720, and the print head cable. We take our print head and be sure it's clean and no damage. Okay, this print head cable. So when we go to print head, we can see the print head we install by this side, the, the Z code at the front side, uh, this way. And at the print head, the left side and the right side have two ports to connect the print head cable. And when we go to the port, we can see they have the pins. The, board, the, the, the down port is at down position. The up port, the pin, as, is at the up position. So also the cable, we can go to the cable, we can see here, also have a pin and a without pin. So we connect by pin, go with pin, first by this way. And before you install the cable, print head cable on the print head, you must be sure that the pin is flat and no bend and no damage and no scratch or no any liquid before you install. It's flat, it's new, and we connect with print head. Okay, then we install print head cable with the print. And first we install the down cable, pin with pin. The blue at upside. <coughs> pin with pin, no overlap. And then we install up cable. Also, upside, go with upside by this way. Be sure it's fastened, no loosen. Then we go to install the left side at the same way. To double check it's not bent. The fast and wear, no scratch. Install like this. The blue protect film is at the middle. And blue protect film is at the middle at the both sides. So one print head, we need to install four cable. So first we uh, install the white print head. So this is the white port, this is the color port. We put the print head by this way. See that the code, the code at front. By this way. And we find out the print head screw. To lock the print head with the print head screw. Totally we need the four, we need the three screw at three position, left, right,
and back set, back lift. Okay, so we need three screw. <clears throat> and then we install the, the front print head, the color print head. Also, we install the cable on the print head by, by the same way. And also, before we install print head, it should be, to be sure it's clean and brand new. Pin with pin. To be sure it's installed the wear, is if it's not installed wear, please pull it out and install again. To be sure it's connected and wear. Okay, at that, we put also but this way, the Z code at the front. This way. And we install the print head to lock the print head with the carriage. To be sure the printing head was locked vertical and horizontal, not bending. See, it's bending, so we need to install again. Put it by this way, flat. And not too fast to damage the screw. Okay, we're done. So this is three screw, three print head. We installed the wire like this. Then we start to install the print head cable with the printer. So we need to open the package, open the carriage cover by four screw, one, two, three, four. We loosen it. We don't need to take it out of the screw, just loosen it. There are four screws, one, two at the left, and two at the right. Everything took out. Okay, from the, the carriage, we can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, totally eight ports to connect the printhead cable. When we enlarge the camera, we can see there are some mark on the on the board. Okay, then we go to the <coughs> print head and the carriage board. We start to install the print head on the carriage board. So when, when we go to the print head, we can see there are, each print have a both screw, left two pieces and right two pieces. So we need to install the print head cable, the full print head cable for each to the print head port. And this print has the wet ink installed to one, two, three, four, this four. One, two, three, four, this, this four port is to install the wet ink print head. And the color ink print at the front, we install at the right four port. Six, seven, six, uh, five, six, seven, eight. This four port for color print head installed here. Okay, so we start to uh, install one by one. When we go to the carriage board, they have a mark, a left, uh, left uh, 
uh, bottom uh, left down, left up, right down, right up. So we install one by one. First uh, is the left, pre white ink print head, left, this left two cable, left down, this down cable, left down in insert two, and the pin go by back side. By this way, pin by back side, by this way. So this uh, left down cable, and this left up, left up, we install the pin must go forward. This left up. And we go to the right. We can see here, this right, up, wrap down, and we first connect the right down, and the pin go back set. The protection film is by this way, and right up by this way. And then we install, install the color print head to the right four port. And also the color print head, the four cables, two at left and two at the right. Okay, so we first install the, the left down cable by this way, also pin go back side. and left it up like this way and right down cable this one by back side number seven and right up to front the last one number eight pin with pin so when we install we can see all the blue film is a middle. Blue film this way, blue film this way. The pin are go back, back side and forward, back front side. And check one by one again. The white print head, white print head, the bone down button, the bone, the down line cable connect with the first one. The second one is up, left. And then the number three is for right, down, Number four, number four here is for right up. And for covering head, for covering head we can also see And from color print head, we can also see the number five connect with the color print head left uh, down, and number six is this one connect with the left print head up, and number seven, this one, is connect with color print head right down, and the last number eight connect with red print head up. So this is totally connection with white print head and color print head by this way. White print head, color print head. Okay, so this is the procedure to install print head on the carriage and uh, connect the print head cable with the carriage board. Thank you, see you next time.